so many people nowadays are really intrigued and interested in learning how to grow spiritually. But I feel that so many people are just learning that they're not actually practicing it. How can people practice it or put it into their own lives more? And um, I, I love your question, Pearl, and it's a, it's a huge question. Um, I do love the idea that people in the world today are more open and they want to grow spiritually and, you know, that they, they are learning. But you are right in, in you saying, you know, that they're not practicing it enough. And I feel that myself, you have to bring it into your everyday life. It is very important. Um, and in that sense, you know, again, it's that love and compassion. Again, it's that, you know, listening. It's allowing yourself to, to hear and to see, you know, using your own spirituality, your own guidance from your guardian angel or any other angel that might be in, in and around you or even the soul of a loved one um, to help to guide you in your life, no matter what you're doing. I know I was telling you earlier um, about a, what, what was he? He was um, a solicitor and he said to me, you know, he was very spiritual and that he uses his spirituality within his work. And he, and he was saying, you know, one thing that's very important to him is actually to listen because he wants to guide um, the people that come to, to him with problems that have to be sorted out legally, that he guides them in the right way. And I loved talking to that man because he was putting his spirituality into practice in his own life. And that's something that's very important. Lots of us people think in one way, I want to grow spiritually, but you're forgetting your spirituality is for you. It's for within your life. It's for within everything you do every single day. You know, and lots of us kind of, what would you say, we don't put it into practice in our own lives, even with our children or, or within our job. Um, we kind of think, well, if I grow spiritually, I can, you know, become this great healer or I can, you know, become this great advisor. But that's really not what it's all about. It's, it's like the doctor who said to me, you know, every day when I have to do surgery, you know, while I'm washing my hands and getting ready, um, even if another colleague comes in and talks to me during that time, spiritually, he said, I am praying. I can feel my soul praying. And I'm praying just to not to make any mistake that spiritually my hands and my mind will be guided. And that's really putting your spirituality into practice. It's like even a teacher or a shopkeeper or a mother at home that you put it into practice in your everyday ordinary life and you watch out for the signs. You, you allow yourself to see spiritually. You allow yourself to be compassionate and loving and you allow yourself to hear, you know, and, and the hearing part is, I find is so wonderful um, because spiritually your own soul speaks to you, that spark of light of God. You know, your guardian angel speaks to you and it's to allow yourself to hear whether it's an inner voice or, or it's a gut feeling you're given or it's a, a sign. You know, it's, it's just so many different ways for you to hear and to put it into practice. 
to put your spirituality into practice every single day. And even if it is like today you should go to your door and take a deep breath and just allow your spirituality to come forward, to allow your soul to come forward. Um, and I know you all can do that. So try and do that from today, from this moment. Um, remind yourself, I have to put my own spirituality. I have to grow, but I need to put it into practice every day. And just remind yourself of that over and over again and again. So God bless and love you.